Hi, this is Darren Blue, and I'm going to show you how to add categories to your WordPress blog. Now, from the WordPress dashboard, go over to the Post menu, expand the menu, and select Categories. First, let me talk to you about what a category is. A category is really just a link to the different types of posts that you have on your blog. So it's really like a table of contents for your blog so that people can easily find what interests them and what they're looking for. For example, think of it kind of like a library. A library has many different sections that are labeled based on the general content that they contain. Well, that's what you're doing with your categories as well. You're giving them general sections that people can go and navigate into so they can find what they're looking for. Now, to add a category, it's very simple. All you have to do is add the category name right here, and then below that is what's called a category slug. Really, all we do is copy and paste the name right down to the category slug. This is just a technical thing, really not something that you need to worry about. From there, we can choose if we want the category to be a parent or a subcategory of another category. What I recommend, though, is that you just make a few parent categories that focus on topics that you're interested in, that you have knowledge about, and that you want to write about and learn more about, and then go from there. So, what I want to do now is go ahead and show you how to add another category and what I'm going to do is add one called blogging. Under the category slug, like I said before, I'm just going to put this same thing, oops, blogging again, and then I'm going to leave this as is. It's going to be a parent category. Description, you don't need to show this or do anything here. Just go ahead and select add category. All right, now you can see over on the top right here, I have a new category called blogging. And now when I create a new post, this is gonna be available for me to add the post to as part of that category. Let me go over to add a new post. And now when I scroll down, you can see on the bottom right here, the categories menu and I can see blogging, which I just added to my set of categories. Now when I write a blog post about something related to blogging, blogging sample post, sample post on what I learned about blogging today. Now, since this post is gonna be related to blogging, what I'm going to do is select that from the Categories menu here. Now, an important thing to do is only select one category that best fits what you're writing about. So I don't want to do cross-marketing here. I don't want to do cross-categories and have a bunch of them because then it becomes diluted and it really doesn't help people because it's it's too much. It's really just saying your, your blog post is about everything and you want it to be concise and direct and to the point. So blogging is the best match for that. And to see this in action, what I'm going to do is hit publish. Okay, it says my post has been published. I'm going to open my blog in a new window. And here you can see my sample post on blogging. And down below that, we can see over on the right here, my category on blogging. And now this is a link that contains all the archives for my blog posts. Now every post that I categorized as blogging is going to be on this page after I click on that link. So here's my one sample post. I only had one in that category. What I'm going to do now is go back. And so if you write a post and say you don't have a category for it yet, what you want to do is add a new category real quick on the fly here. 
So if this category was say about social networking, meaning it was about either YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, anything about that, then I would go ahead and add that as a new category. And all I have to do is just hit add and bam, it's already there. So I would uncheck that because I only want to have one category for each type of set of posts. And so from there, you just publish the post and then you have a new category with that post. So categories, again, are very helpful for your users and your readers. People browse blogs based on what they're interested in. So you need to make it easy for them to find what they want. If your blog doesn't contain a category section though, usually they do by default. What you can do is go into the appearance menu of your blog under widgets. You can see all the sidebars of your blog and all the widgets you can choose and categories is one of them. You can just move this over to anywhere you want to add it. First, let me open up one of these spots here, one of these sidebars, and then I can drop the categories right in there. I can leave it as is, hit save, and then hit refresh on my blog. Now you can see I added categories in kind of a funny place here. Um, I can take that out just as quick as I put it in, but I also have my categories shown up here now because that's one of the widgetized areas of my blog. So that's what categories are. They're very important to the usability and the organization of your blog and use them always when you're creating new posts. So some good sample categories for you to start out with are ones like blogging, personal development, social networking. Another good category is pay-per-click marketing. Everything that you learn about these topics, you want to write in a post and then categorize that post when you publish it. And this is how you blog. This is what bloggers do. So I'm going to go ahead Actually, let me go ahead and copy that. Don't forget to add the slug there. And add category. And bam, there it is. A new category, just like that. Now, it's really up to you to decide which categories you ultimately want on your blog. If you don't have a lot to say about a certain subject, then you don't have to have a category for it. And if you prefer to talk about one thing, then you can branch into that and dive into that as kind of your expertise and what categories you develop from it. So that's it for categories. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.